Hey kids! In today's video, we'll be learning about soil. Are you ready? Let's begin! Soil is the top layer of the earth's surface where plants grow. It's made up of tiny pieces of rocks, nutrients, and organic matter like dead leaves and insects. Soil also contains water and air. Let's go over the different types of soil. Sand It is made of larger particles and doesn't hold water well. Silt It is made of medium-sized particles and it holds water better than sand. Clay it is made of very small particles and it holds water very well. Loam It is a mix of sand, silt, and clay and is great for growing plants. So how is soil formed? Soil formation is a bit like making a really slow, natural recipe over many years. Here's how it works. Weathering of rocks. It starts with rocks breaking down into smaller pieces. This can happen because of wind, rain, freezing, and thawing, and even plant roots that grow into cracks in the rocks. Addition of organic material. As plants, leaves, and animals die, they decompose and mix with the tiny rock pieces. This adds nutrients and makes the soil richer. Mixing Small animals like earthworms, insects, and microorganisms move through the soil, mixing the organic material with the rock pieces. This helps spread nutrients and makes the soil more uniform. Water movement Water moves through the soil, carrying nutrients with it. This helps plants grow and can also move tiny particles from one soil layer to another. Let's go over the soil horizons. Soil horizons are like layers in a cake, each one with different characteristics. O-horizon humus layer This is the top layer, full of organic material like leaves, plants, and decomposed matter. It's dark and rich in nutrients, providing food for plants and soil organisms. A-horizon topsoil this is the layer just below the organic layer. It's also dark because it contains a lot of organic matter mixed with minerals. This layer is where most plant roots grow and where many soil organisms live. E-horizon alluviation layer. This layer is lighter in color because the water washed away many of the minerals and nutrients. B horizon subsoil. This layer beneath the topsoil accumulates minerals and nutrients drained from above. C horizon parent material. This layer consists of partially broken down rock and minerals. This layer contains little organic material. R horizon bedrock. This is the bottom layer, made of solid rock. Soil is important because it provides nutrients and support for plants, holds water, and houses many small animals and microorganisms. And that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed learning about soil today. Take care now. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos from us, please click the subscribe button.
Also, give us a like. That will help us. We thank you so much and we do hope that you enjoy our videos. See you soon!